Hello there and welcome to A2 Maths We're on June 2018 paper 2 and here we're looking at question 3, a proof question. So we have a statement that says if M and N are irrational numbers, so that's irrational means um, they are, cannot be represented as fractions um, and therefore they might be square root numbers, E, pi, etc, etc, and M is not equal to M, then MN is also irrational. Disprove the statement by means of a counter example. So what we want to do is we want to say that M is equal to and N is equal to such that when we multiply the two together, it is a rational number. And that will disprove this theorem. OK, so for example, we might say that m is equal to the square root of 3 and n is equal to the square root of 3, because when I do n times m, um, I get the square root of 9, which is equal to 3, which is rational. Uh, but this uh, is not allowed as an answer, because m is not allowed to be equal to n in this uh, theorem. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to change this to something different. What about if we change the n value to the square root of 27 maybe? What will happen then is I'll do 3 times 27, so m times n in this case will equal the square root of 81, which will equal 9, which is rational. So there we are, that's our counter example for disproving this statement that we can have two different irrational numbers, square root of 3 and the square root of 27, and they will multiply together to make a rational number. OK, part B, part I, sketch the graph of modulus x plus 3. So let's make it nice and big. So it's going to be the modulus of x graph just moved up by 3. So there we are, intersection point at 3 y equals modulus x plus 3. There we are, part i done. Explain why the modulus of x plus 3 is greater than or equal to the modulus of x plus 3. So let's now draw this graph. Let's do it in a different colour so we can tell the difference. Blue. OK, so drawing y equals x plus 3, this is going to be the modulus of x graph moved left by 3. So that in that case it's going to be... It's going to look exactly like that. So it's going to move to minus 3. Um, and you can see by the graph that when x is less than 0, the modulus of x plus 3 is going to be greater than modulus of x plus 3 um, because uh, this is going to be a negative term, uh, this is going to make that smaller um, so it's always going to be the left hand side that's greater and when x is greater than or equal to 0 the modulus of x plus 3 is going to be exactly equal to x plus so there we are, that's the answer to uh, question 3 there, 5 marks for that question, let's move on to question 4.